W.S. Tyler presents Performing Accurate Sieve Testing. Despite technology changing so rapidly, the test sieve remains a cost-effective and precise measuring instrument for dry, non-agglomerating particles. Test sieve analysis is widely used for quality control in many industries worldwide. The test sieving process is a simple and common practice to measure particle size in dry, relatively free-flowing materials. Particle distribution data is then used to analyze material size. There are five basic elements of testing. Test sieves, test sieve shakers, sample materials and preparation, running the test, recording results and analysis. Test sieves. Test sieves should conform to current ASTM E11 or ISO 3310-1 standards. Generally, sieves are constructed of brass and or stainless steel components. Common diameters are 3 inches, 8 inches, and 12 inches, or metric equivalents. Special diameters are also available. Test sieves are available in three grades, compliance, inspection, and calibration. Compliant grade test sieves are primarily used. The sieves can also be examined to verify the openings and wire diameters of the mesh in order to ensure compliance to inspection or calibration grades. These examinations provide NIST traceability. Test sieve shakers. The shaker must provide a consistent action that allows sample particles to effectively pass through the test sieves. The action may be tapping or non-tapping vibratory or electromagnetic. There are no known calibration standards pertaining to sieve shakers. Sample materials and preparation. Creating a representative material sample is critical. There are various devices available to extract a sample from bulk materials and if necessary reduce the product to an optimal mass for size analysis. Generally the sample mass is determined by the product specifications. Running the test. Particle size analysis can begin after a properly collected sample has been created. Select test sieves from the ASTM or ISO series with mesh apertures that reveal particle distribution at user-defined critical sizes. These are usually stated in a product specification or determined by material processing requirements. Starting with the receiving pan, stack the sieves on top of each other with the finest or smallest opening on the bottom of the stack and proceed in ascending order. Use a laboratory scale, accurate to one-tenth gram, to weigh an empty container, usually an extra receiving pan, and establish a tear weight. Weigh the entire sample and record the weight. W.S. Tyler offers sieving software for basic spreadsheet analysis. Additional test information includes company name, test number and date. This may be saved and used as a permanent printed record. Empty the entire sample into the top sieve of the stack. Make sure that you do not overload any sieve as this may cause blinding. Place the stack into the sieve shaker with a cover on the top sieve and securely fasten the stack into the shaker. A sound enclosure cabinet can be used to reduce operating noise levels. Set desired time limit and start the shaker. Again, the time limit is generally an instruction included in the product specification. When the test is complete, remove the stack of sieves from the shaker. Empty the sample material retained on the top sieve into the empty container. While holding the sieve over the container, gently brush the underside and inside of the sieve to remove all remaining particles. Weigh the contents in the pan and record data. Repeat these weighing steps for each sieve and bottom pan making sure to collect all particles. Verify the new total sample weight against the original mass sample weight. Generally, a difference of less than 1% is acceptable. Recording results and analysis. The final step in the quality control process is the analysis. The W.S. Tyler sieving software will total the recorded weights, calculate cumulative weight retained, and a cumulative percentage retained or passing for each test sieve. In the absence of a software program, the same data must be recorded and then calculated. The software will configure a particle size distribution curve for the records. With the test sieve data now collected, an analysis can be performed. To begin your analysis, compare the product specification requirements to your results. 
the recorded data, highlighted in yellow, should be compared to corresponding requirements of the product specification sheet, highlighted in blue, to determine whether or not the size distribution of the sample material is acceptable. This concludes the sieve testing process. Particle size distribution measurement is a critical element in the manufacturing and quality control of products in a wide range of industries. Today, new technologies include photo-optical equipment to complement particle size measurement and analysis. W.S. Tyler's sieving products are available from authorized professional distribution partners worldwide.